Firstly, good evening everyone. Our application running on the Windows Phone 7 platform is called the Notice Board and is proudly developed by AppCycles, my team. I'm Ivan and I'll be bringing you through the presentation today. This is the outline of my presentation. I'll be talking about the motivation, the application itself, the advantages and possibilities and, al and also a video demo. Now, let me talk about the motivation behind developing this application through a story. And this story is about, about, about a boy going through NUS. In his year one, he begins to familiarize himself with NUS and realizes that he needs various items for his new room. He also has to look out for CCAs of his interest and also exciting events to attend. He also needs to buy used textbooks and also procure notes from his seniors, which he may or may not already know. Now, moving on to year two, he has already settled in NUS and is pretty active in the NUS community. And therefore, he has to promote his voluntary work and also his CCA. Now, he needs to resell his textbooks, which he no longer needs. Moving on to year three, he has stepped up his, in the ladder of his CCA and is recruiting members for his CCA to do his work with him. And also, he may want to make some money by doing some freelance projects or jobs. As he prepares to leave for his student uh, exchange program, he may also want to find like-minded people like himself to share his experience with. Moving on to his hectic year four, he may want to find people to do his survey for his FYP for him. And also, after he graduates and moves out of NUS, he has no choice but to sell or give his items away. Now, how do you think he can accomplish all of these tasks? How do you think he can reach out to the NUS community? Aren't these the usual avenues that we use? Facebook, Twitter, phone call. Now, we have to ask ourselves, how effective are these avenues? With Twitter and Facebook, you can only reach out to those whom you have in your friend list and not the entire NUS community. And what about posters? Are, any, are all, all, everyone going to look at your posters? The next question we've got to ask ourselves is, how convenient are these ways? Are you going to go around putting posters everywhere in NUS? Or call your friends one by one? I don't think so. So ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is, although NUS is a vibrant community, we do not have a means to do these simple tasks effectively and conveniently. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our solution. We call the Notice Board application. Now I'll walk you through the basis of our application and how one can reach out to the whole of NUS. Now first, we log in to the Notice Board application. Next, we can post a request or notice. A request is something like, I am setting up a blog shop and I would like someone to write a website for me. A notice is something like, oh, I am a freelance programmer and I'm willing to do anything for a small price. Does anyone want to hire me? All this can be done in three simple steps. And when you want to navigate through the notice board, it is very intuitive because all the posts are categorized. The categories are books, items, jobs, CCAs, and also IVLE events. Well, what if you still can't find it? Like any other good application out there, we have the simple search feature. And every post has details of the post and also contact information of the poster. 
To contact the poster, one would just have to send him an email, or call him, or even send him an SMS. Oh, sorry. Now, you can also view the latest feeds, and also your store, a place where you can get quick access to your posts. Now let us now let me talk about the distinctive features of our application. It has a simple and user-friendly interface which is extremely intuitive for anyone to use. The demo will show how a user can go through our application very easily. We also have an integrated search feature that I talked about which performs a text-based search through our entire database. Next, we also have integrated Facebook. This, with this, you can share your items, requests, and notices with a simple tap of your finger. Now, IVLE provides a similar platform, but instead of competing with IVLE, we have integrated it into our NoticeBot application. IVLE events can now be accessed right from the NoticeBot application. By now, you should know what the NoticeBot application is all about. But let me highlight the vast possibilities that our platform offers that you might not have thought about. Not only can one buy and sell stuff, but also share things. The NoticeBot application can be used as an information sharing platform. For example, I may want to borrow a graphics calculator before my exam, or maybe borrow a Mac DVI adapter before my presentation. That is only if you're using a Mac. Moving on. The NoticeBot application is used to get often necessary but tedious tasks done based on community interaction. And by community, I mean staff and students. And so, Next time, if you need a freelance programmer or someone to design your website, all you need to do is to use the NoticeBot application. Now, there is the NUS eJob Center and also IVLE events. But why do we still need the NoticeBot application? It is because you cannot sell, sell your fan, lend people your books, and even offer one-time jobs on these platforms. The notice board application allows you to post anything and everything, big or small, in our application. It is the one place to go, no matter what your task, and therefore, the application brings together different domains. Now, before I continue, I'm sure this question is on everybody's mind. Does everybody has a Windows Phone 7? And more importantly, can this app reach out to the whole NUS community? Well, my team, AppCycles, believe that NoticeBot is not just an application, but an idea. And therefore, we take great care, special care in developing our application. We chose the client and server architecture. Our Windows Phone 7 app is nothing but a client talking to the server, which means that even the iPhone or the Android can talk to our server. And to make things even simpler for people to come up with new clients, we have our very own API, which allows events to be consumed from our server. And with this, let's take a look at the video demo. Displays the list of latest posts 
which can be filtered based on if the item is being offered or requested. And in the Maestro section, you can view your own post. To explore the post from the notice board, you simply need to click on the Explore button and you will have the list of all the posts displayed under respective category. You can browse through the various books, items, jobs, CC and events in a very intuitive fashion. And if you like something, just click on it to view its details. To contact the post owner, the application gives you three options, email, call and text message. We have also integrated IPAD events into our application, which means you can check out the IPAD events from within the notice board. At any point, you can click on the notice board logo to go back to the home page. If you fail to find anything or you're too lazy to go through all the posts, you can use a search feature that will return a list of posts based on the keyword enter. The results can also be filtered on the basis of whether the stuff is on offer or has been requested by someone. You can view the post and contact the person in the same way as before. You can post on the notice board in three simple steps. Step one is to select the category. Step two is to give the title, description, and the price amount. Step three is to add a phone number and an image to your post, which can be taken right away from the phone camera or be selected from the phone picture library. Once you confirm the post, you can also share it on Facebook. Your recently created post can be seen in the watch view and my store section. If you want to make any changes to your post, you can do that by simply clicking the edit button. And as you can see, the changes are reflected right away. You can also remove a post by clicking on the delete button. In the options menu, you can change the settings of the Facebook and IPL accounts connected with our application. So this is a simple notice board application to help you exploit the potential of the NUS community as a whole. And like we have believed from the start, this is not just an application, it's an idea. To vote for us, please SMS W3277577. Okay, with that, this is our Q&A session. Any questions?
Okay, that was, uh, thanks for that. Thanks. Really nice and polished presentation from you. Um, Thank you. Uh, I, I, have a, I have a bunch of questions here. Um, do, you, do you have the app running on a device now or uh, you have like a prototype uh, on, a, on, a, on a device? Which... I, we, I do not have a Windows Phone 7, but I have it uh, on my computer. I can show you on the Oh, on the emulator yeah. running. Okay, so uh, your teammates are, I mean, are they based here or how, how does it work? Oh, they are, they are NUS students, yes, okay. but they are all in India. <laughs> so they're, they flew back to... Uh, for vacation or what? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Was this uh, idea um, because it, it it looks like to me it's very it's very cool. Um, it, was it? It's almost like IVLD was an afterthought. Um, so it's it's almost like this was built right from the start with an idea in mind and. You know, then suddenly we can put in IVLD, or is it the other way? How how does it, how did it evolve? Can you give us some? Uh, I know you you went through the presentation, but I just want to understand. Um, you know, is is it is IVLE core to this application, or can it be taken out in such a way that if I publish this to marketplace, anyone can just use it? You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, did you guys just add in IVLE, or was it developed from the start with IVLE in mind? Oh, because. The scope of the project is to um, better the lives of NUS students. Correct. So we thought of we thought of many ideas, and so we we came up we came up we thought about IVLE events mm -hmm. announcements, and we asked ourselves do we usually do we really use them? Well, I can honestly tell you, sorry to say, I I, I don't even know what are IVLE events before mm -hmm. this competition. Yeah. <laughs> so because of this. We thought, what are the, what are IVL events? They are maybe big scale events that nobody cared about. You can you can go through the whole of NUS without knowing what are IVL events. Mm -hmm. But what about those small stuff, small things like I want to sell my textbooks. Mm -hmm. I want someone to clean my room, for example. Yeah, it's everything. Anything is possible. Anything. So. We want to do this, but also not forgetting IVLE events. So we have integrated it inside. OK. Yes. Your back-end server is running on? Uh, WCF. Yeah, I mean, uh, OK. So you have a Windows server yes, running I, somewhere? Yes, IIS. Oh, in IIS? Yes. How long did it take you to code this? Um, the back end was relatively easy because WCF, you cannot go wrong with it. The, um, I guess we took longer to develop the clients, integrating Facebook, IVL events, and of course to beautify it yeah. because the interface has to be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like the interface because you're using Metro. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I have a lot of, lot of questions. No problem, no problem. Um, grouping, let's say I want to just get um, updates from my close uh, friends. or, or is, Do you allow that? Or is it just group between... Uh, there's a there's a drop-down, right? Uh, which allows you to filter... Um, yes. So aside from search, is there like a logical friend grouping? or, uh, For example, my fellow classmates. So oh um, no, we do not have that okay. because our our focus our focus was on the whole NUS community right. and not and not like some small circles in your silos, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, there's a question. Uh, I have a question about the Facebook. Do you guys use any you know, uh, third party library to to integrate the Facebook into the phone? Oh, of course or we how, use. How do you integrate it? Oh, we use the Facebook API. Facebook API. Yes. From Facebook Yes. Um honestly from day one until two days before the before the seventeenth. Then it's the fifteenth we finished. July. Yeah. 
two days between last week. Last week. Is it last week? Yes, it was. Wow, that's fast. I, sh I, I like the app, um, but I, I think it would go beyond, uh, you know, what if someone saw this and says, you know, why can't we just add another polytechnic or school there? Would you do that? Oh, yes, it's definitely possible, yes. Because okay. huh. <laughs> that's why I asked the first question, because I, I want to make sure that this was built from the ground up with IBL in mind, because it's, it's for this competition, right? Yes, yes. And, yes, yes. and I want to see more hooks into IBL -E with this app. So that's why I was getting the impression that it was, um, we, we have this app and then let's add in IBL -E on the side. Oh, no, no. You, you would actually have to log in with your IBL -E right, right. account to use this application. But it was good. It was a really good app. I, 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 even myself, I can see a lot of potential use for it. Like, uh, oh. Clean my house or something. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.